Hello! Welcome to Nindy's Creative Corner. Today we are going to learn how to do these layered um, word dies. And if you'll notice, they are... Um, I put double thick on the top word. You can do however many layers you want. Anyway, it's pretty easy. There are two ways you can do this. And I will show you both. We are using the Amazing Thanks dies. I guess I got Stampin' Dimensional backs on there. Anyway, it is part of the Amazing Silhouettes bundle, but you can buy them separately. And they have the bottom layer, which are these more solid dies, and then the top layer are the detailed dies. We'll do thanks this time. They also have you are, so you can go you are amazing or thank you and cut off the S. Anyway, so first version, we'll use green for the background. I think this is Old Olive. And you don't need to go back, but it's quicker than running the whole way through. And there are just a few, a couple little parts that need to get poked out and they come out really easily. Now, just so you know, this is the way I usually do it. And the next way would be the way I wish I would remember to do it. And we'll just cut this again to add dimension. Some people do three or four. They can if they want. I think it's overkill, but each to our own. Okay. So these came out really nicely. Well, we'll just put cardstock under them. Okay. So first we will glue these two together. Get that last little part punched out. Make sure I peeled off the end. You're just going to want to put little tiny dots on here. And start on one of the thicker parts because you never can tell how it will come out at first. don't need a lot and occasionally you glue yourself now we will line up the dies starting with the one end Hold that in place for a second and then line up the rest. Just scooch it till it lines up.
Then we will again add glue to the back of this one. This time it's not so floppy. Yes, my one friend does all these perfectly spaced teeny dots of glue using the same now we'll center it on this so again start over at one end and hold the other end up try to get it centered so some of the bottom shows on all sides Okay, here's version one. Now let's do version two. All right, this is an adhesive sheet. And we are going to cut it out. I like to leave a little bit extra just to make sure. Okay, here we go. One side will end up with the sticky side. And that's what we will put on our cardstock. And we will again cut two of these. And if you want, you can cut your cardstock out so it's the same size. So you know you get it all. Oh, okay, here we go. And technically you can use the um, mini on these. Now since it has the adhesive layer on the back, I'm going back and forth. Okay, we'll cut it once more. Make sure and poke out all these extra little parts that we don't want in there. Well, sometimes when you peel off the backing, you peel off those too. But because this is so small to work with, I thought I had that one. Okay, since this is starting to peel off already. Then we will line it up.
There, that was so much quicker. I guess we need to do one more of these. Now you can also put adhesive on the back of this. And these little holes here to help you get it unstuck. Now we will just peel the backing off this. It goes so much faster when you're not filming. Oops. So again, we will line it up. Trying to center it. And just press down after on that part after you've got it centered. Okay, there you go. Now it's ready to attach to any card you want. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you. Remember to sign up for my newsletter to get projects in your email box every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.